Well, hello, my loves, and thank you so much for joining I Am Tight Hands. And in today's video, it's more so of a how-to, how to recognize scalp conditions, how to go about it, and how to make sure you are not treating every client in the same manner. Stay tuned. Before starting any service, make sure that you fully and thoroughly examine your client's scalp. So one of my loves brought in her daughter today for a service and as you can see her scalp is fully clean so that I was able to look and examine her scalp. When a client comes in with irritated scalp you do not want to focus on parting. No products on the scalp should be applied at all. I always begin each service moisturized from root to end and as you can see I parted it and no product is applied to her scalp whatsoever. This also avoids buildup makes the style last longer and also encourages your scalp to breathe a lot of people's scalp just needs to breathe if you're a beginner yes parting is important but more important so is your gripping finger placement is so important and when you put too much products and mix it the consistency changes and also can change the consistency of your client's hair using little to no product is the best result especially with soft hair and because when you're dealing with person with soft hair, you want to make sure that you're not using too much pressure, especially when it comes to the back. If that was the case for her hair, I could tell that whoever was braiding her hair or might have been doing cute styles on her, might have been pulling her hair too tight where her hair couldn't take it. Real quick, a second before, as you see I pulled it, I held the braid down. I also use Murray's Edge Wax to help braid this makes it appear like it's tight when it's not you can see again with every tug i hold the braid always so when dealing with younger kids i usually have them pre-bead the beads for me this just keeps them entertained and excited about the style i feel like i can show you better than i can tell you many times kids always ask me like are we done yet and they get bored with the style so having the kids pre-bead your style midway is important also as you can see in the back i don't know if y'all can really see it but i always brick lay my parts so to keep it looking natural and cute and you want you want to make sure you brick lay all your braids so that it looks more natural when you do it straight in a line it looks weird and it doesn't look complete one of the most important and useful tricks to do is always use mixed length. That's a method I use on every style I do. Most weight comes in when it's all the same, but when you mix up the lengths where it's like long, short, it makes it more natural and it also makes it easier and manageable for a person to carry and wear that style. Another thing that you have to be strict on is making sure that your weight and the parting match. So your braid to the part must match. If your braid and your part does not match, that's where heaviness comes in at. So yes, you guys, finally we are finished. We were both happy to be done. The last step and the final step is adding your oil of choice right now as you can see i'm using my oil it's my hair growth oil from my upcoming line that's coming out soon that i use to lightly 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 oil her scalp the less stuff you use in a client's scalp the better if you decide to use mousse make sure you're using it on the ends and not on the person's scalp you want the person's scalp to breathe and not be coated what makes a person a good stylist is their ability to tell a client, yes, you can get something and no, you cannot. Every client, you cannot treat them the same and you cannot go about them in the same manner because the results will always end up different. As you can see, baby girl is so excited and she's so happy with the end results and how the beads look so cute. I pulled them up lightly just to enhance the style and keep them off her face. Thanks for joining and thanks for watching. I am Tight Hands. Stay tuned for my next video. Oh, and yes, one more thing. You can absolutely, absolutely add your baby hair and edges to this style. I use my edge control from my line. Again, thank you again for watching.